Hello, welcome to the channel. Uh, so today what I wanted to do is sort of show you how I came to fix the problem I had in the last video. Now this is all pretty much thanks to La 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 Hobbits in the comments there. Now we're still running tvOS 13. Uh, they just did a, an update recently that kind of made it less buggy. It's still not great. I don't suggest running this on your main Apple TV because it's really buggy. It's kind of annoying, but uh, it is what it is. So what I've done here is I've actually already uninstalled called Steam Link. As you can see, Steam Link's no longer here. So we're gonna reinstall it. Just give it a sec. Not on this TV, Steam Link. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna reinstall it. Let's give it a sec. Cool. And then we're gonna open it. Steam Link would like to use, yes. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna pair other controllers. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to, if you can see this, I don't have my lights on or anything, so bear with me. We're gonna turn this on. It's already been paired to the TV. So as you can see on the TV screen, it says controller connected. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the actual Apple TV remote. And I'm just gonna go back to restart everything. And then I'm gonna scroll up to the question mark. You see where the question mark is? And then what I'm gonna do, when we press A, it's gonna to go to this tip screen, right? But if you notice, while we're on the tip screen here, it's still going to take the button prompts. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, I did the wrong button. And if you do wrong buttons, it's fine. Just use your Apple TV remote and you can restart. A few moments later. And we're gonna try this again. So with our controller now, X, boop, 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 boop. Mm, mm, mm. And then once we get to this, we don't hit the home button, instead we hit okay. Go down, go over to skip. So we've skipped that button. And then remember to go back up, go back to the tip thing, and then hit the last button, the start button. And that's okay, it's gonna do the restart. And then it's gonna choose a scan for your computer. So the restart of the app is a little scary, but trust me, it works fine. And now, as you can see, it sees my MacBook Pro, because my MacBook Pro is running Steam right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our controller now to just hit X on this, and then type the number onto the MacBook. And then it's gonna run its test. All right, and once that's done, again, continue to use your controller, hit X again. And now, as you can see, it says DualShock 4 wireless controller, check mark. Don't know what's going on with my network connection. It should be better than that, but anyway. Pick up our controller, it's still on the Apple TV. Hit start playing. And as you can see. A few moments later. Now apologies for the vertical video on this, but I really wanted you to see the latency between the Apple TV and the, and the MacBook. So let's hit play, play. Now th this is on two wired connections the Apple TV and the MacBook are both wired into the home network. And as you can see, this works really great and the latency is really good. Like you, you can definitely play a game like this easily. So some games might, might not work as well with this, but uh, it's certainly playable, like absolutely playable. So anyway, 
we've got it to work. We've got the DualShock 4 working on tvOS 13 on Steam Link. That's how you do it. Sorry this video doesn't look as good as some of my other stuff. Honestly, I was lazy today. I didn't want to take the time to set up the capture and everything. So this is what we got. Anyway, peace out guys. Have a good one. We'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.